I'm out here in the backyard today, which I just mowed with my riding mower nonetheless, and I wanted to show you my newest garden pickup that I made. I actually went to Lowe's and I bought some raspberry plants. I bought six total. These weren't a bad deal at all. They were $10.98 a piece. And I actually got three different variations. They had three different kinds there, and I got two of each. And I'll go through what they are. I'm not even really sure what they are, to be honest with you. These, this is a Meeker raspberry, and this says, ideal for eating fresher desserts. And then this one here, this is a Williamette raspberry. And then that says large dark red fruit. And then the other variation that I got was the pre Prelude Raspberry. And this one says early season ripening, so that could be kind of nice. So like I said, I got two of each of those for a total of six. So I spent about $66 total on these. But in reality, that $66 really isn't too bad because if you think about the cost of actual raspberries, I don't know if you've ever gone out and bought like a little container, which is like eight ounces, it's like two to five dollars depending on the season. So if you think about the number of raspberries that I'm gonna get off these plants, it's gonna be such a great investment. All you have to do is just put them in the ground, let them go, they grow like a weed and they're just gonna get huge. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get that process started. There may be a little wind in this video. I apologize for that. I always seem to make my videos on windy days. It must just be my luck. But uh, here's the garden today. I went out with the rototiller and kind of got it all nice and tilled up and the chickens are loving that. They're finding all kinds of easy stuff right on top. But back here, uh, there's the rhubarb. Back here is kind of the mess where things kind of start getting bad. I don't really use this section of the garden so it's getting kind of weedy and I'm probably gonna have to bring the weed eater out here. But uh, here's where the raspberries are gonna go. This little section here, this is where the old owner had raspberries before, and there are still some growing. I think I messed up the first year that we lived here. I went out here and I cut all these raspberries off. I think it was either, I don't know if it was in the fall or spring, but I thought that's how you pruned them. And then they never really came back. This is all that's pretty much left out here. You can see a nice, this is a raspberry plant. It's, they're kind of thorny and you can kind of tell by the leaves what they look like. But this was just filled when we, the first year we moved in, there were all raspberries everywhere. And unfortunately, it's really not the case. Like th these are raspberries here, this one. And then these are all pretty much dead, but here's some life and some raspberries. Got a couple there and there's like one inside here. So of all that space, which was filled with raspberries, there's really nothing left. And I'm hoping to fill this up with fresh ones today. I think what I'm gonna do, I have four different spaces here. I have one, two, three, and four. And I think I'm gonna save this last spot here for blackberries. They had some of those at Lowe's. So I think I'd like to put two of those there. So I'm gonna to try to put two in each one of these little sections where the posts come down. Because if you look at the back of this, and now it's in focus, you can see this is gonna grow four to five feet high and two to three feet wide. So they're gonna get a lot bigger than they are. And if you look at this one here, this one says six feet height, six foot width. So this is gonna get really big and that's the Williamette. The smaller one is the Prelude. That's gonna come in handy for me in the future. If you can see behind me, this is sort of how I'm setting this up, kind of evenly spaced. As you can see here, you got one post there and a post there. So the two are gonna go right in the middle. And these are the Preludes, they're gonna go in there. These are the early season ripening and they aren't joking about this because there's already berries growing on there. This one has some on as well. Then in the middle, beside the chickens, this these are the, Williamettes, these are the big ones that I was talking about earlier. These are gonna grow huge, and I figured I'd put those in the prime location right where Roxy is. And then finally, in the last section here, these are the Meekers. And these say the size varies, so I kind of put it in the corner here because I feel like there could be a little bit of lack of sunlight because of all the trees and stuff here. So we'll just see how those go. And then the very last section down there, I'm gonna save for some blackberries. So hopefully these things grow. If they grow the way that they're supposed to, this should be completely filled with raspberries here in the future. Here's another cool thing I want to point out to you. It says this fruit is self-pollinating and does not need another variety of the same fruit to produce uh, fruit. By adding a cross-pollinator, the quality and, and quantity of the yield will increase. And the cool thing is each one of these works with each other. Like these preludes work with Williamette. The Williamette works with the Meeker. The Meeker works with the Williamette. So all these should, in essence, produce better fruit just because I got all the varieties. Got the first section done. What I did is just dug a couple holes there and I put some in this garden soil that I had left over. I put that at the bottom, so when these things start growing down, they'll have something to grow into. And that's some nice, good soil in there. And I'll put maybe a little bit on top as well. So I'm basically just gonna take these out of the pots and drop them into each of these holes and kind of cover it around it for all six of them. That'll be real easy to do, and then we're all finished up. I'm all done. I'm just gonna put some water on them now. Give them a head start in life. I 
such an easy job to put these in the ground and it's going to pay off so much in the future. I'm really looking forward to these middle ones here. It says that they grow six feet, so I'm really anxious to see if they really do grow that big. It's going to be pretty awesome. And that's the last one. You can see how I put some of that garden soil on top here. Let that soak down through. I did that to all of them. And through the weeds, it actually looks pretty good. Thank you for being here on this day that I became a little more self-sufficient. I find growing my own food to be very rewarding and I would recommend it to anyone that has the opportunity. Just go out and plant something and you'll see how powerful it is to go out and just pick your own food. And I hope you're here the day that these raspberry plants grow into huge plants and cover this whole area behind me. And I come out here and pick buckets and buckets of raspberries year after year on a $66 investment and a couple, maybe 30 minutes of my afternoon. I'm gonna have so much reward here in the future and I'm gonna be sharing it all with you. So so thank you for watching this video and I'll have plenty more to come. I was, I was carrying this in and I almost forgot that Roxy's afraid of it. Look at this dog. Holy cow. I'm gonna get you. No, don't go through there. Don't go through there. Oh my goodness. You almost took out my raspberries. Okay, okay. I'm done teasing you. I'm done. Let's go. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. See? See? It's not going to get you. Goof.